Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Children's Online Sunday School. I sure hope you're having a great weekend, and I hope that you're making plans to come and be with us in person today. But I am glad that you chose to take a couple of minutes and learn a little bit more about God. Today, we're going to talk about followers. Now, what I mean, I don't mean about followers on Instagram or followers on YouTube. I mean followers of Jesus. And I want you to take a second and think, am I a follower of Jesus? While Jesus lived here on earth, he had a group of special friends called disciples. They traveled with him and helped him and learned all that he wanted to teach them. In the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 19 and 20, it says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything that I've commanded you. Look, I myself will be with you every day until the end of the age. That scripture that we just read, it is from the last thing that Jesus said to his friends before he went to live in heaven. He gave his disciples an important job to do. Jesus said that they should tell everyone about him and help him to make disciples. He didn't want them to keep the good news of heaven all to themselves. Jesus wanted his friends to help spread the news to every country in the world. Jesus loves all people everywhere so much that he invites them all to live in heaven with him. He gave the disciples the job of letting people know that they can go to heaven to live forever. Now, if you believe in Jesus, if you are Jesus' forever friend and he lives in your heart, you are a disciple too. You are a follower of Jesus. That means that you have the job of telling other people about him. Everyone you meet deserves to know that Jesus loves them. And it is something that even you, no matter how old you are, you can be a follower of Jesus and you can tell others about his great and wonderful news. The news that he came to die on the cross to save them from his your, their sins. That's one of the most amazing things I've ever heard is that a long, long time ago, Jesus called those that were standing around him while he was here on earth to be disciples. But he called you to be a disciple too, and to be a Jesus follower and to go and make disciples of everybody that you meet. Everybody, no matter who it is, they need to know that Jesus died for them. So this week, I want you to think about how can I really live up to that calling that Jesus put on my life? How can I tell others that he died for them? How can I show others that I'm a follower of Jesus? Because if you believe you're a disciple, just like we read about in our scriptures today, let's pray, okay? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for making a home for me in heaven. Please remind me to tell people I meet so that they can live there with you too. It's in your name I pray. Amen. So go this week and make disciples of Jesus.